Hey everybody, I'm Josh Jackson from WPSculptor.com. Thank you for joining me for this brief video tutorial. Some of you have asked about how to gain more control over which pages your widgets appear on. You may want certain widgets to only show up on certain pages that you specify, and I'll show you a simple way to do that using a WordPress plugin. First of all, I do want to say that this tutorial does assume that you have a basic understanding of widgets and widget areas, as well as an understanding of basic WordPress settings. If you do need a refresher or are just starting out with your website, I highly recommend watching the full-length video on how to create the exact website that you see here, and I'll include the link to that video in the video description below. Alright, first we're going to log into the back end by typing in our domain forward slash wp admin and we'll type in our login credentials. Now the plugin we're going to use is a free plugin called Jetpack and it should be installed by default with your WordPress installation and if it is you should have this Jetpack option here on the left but if you don't see that option you will need to install the Jetpack plugin by going down to plugins and click on add new and then currently the Jetpack plugin is showing up here on the top right and you can also click on search plugins and you would just click there and type in Jetpack and that's one word and then press enter on your keypad and it should appear on the top left here and what you would do is hover over and click on install and then once you install the plugin you would need to click on activate plugin on the following screen and once your plugin is activated you would click on the Jetpack tab that you would now have on the left here click on that and then you need to connect your website to wordpress.com and click on connect to wordpress.com to do that and you will need to sign up for a free account with wordpress.com so to sign up for your free account click on need an account and then you would just enter the credentials here and then click on sign up and then you would need to check your email and verify your account and once your account is verified you can go back and you'll be able to put in your credentials so we'll just log in and then click on Authorize Jetpack. And that's going to take us back to the back end of our site. And of course, we're under this Jetpack tab here. And then we're going to scroll down and click on See Other Jetpack Features. And you can see that there are lots of really great features that come included with the Jetpack plugin. And uh, the first thing I want to do is actually deactivate one of these. And I'm going to scroll down and find this Photon plug, uh, plugin or feature of the Jetpack plugin. I'm going to hover over that and click on Deactivate. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I noticed that with the theme that I'm using, the Photon uh, feature of the Jetpack plugin actually caused a conflict with the carousel that I have. But just uh, deactivate that and then scroll down. And the one we're going to use is called widget visibility down here at the bottom. So hover over that and it should be activated by default. Uh, if it does say activate instead of deactivate, you will need to click on activate to activate the widget visibility feature. Then let's go to appearance and click on widgets to see our available widgets and widget areas. And you can see that within my primary sidebar widget area here, I've got a virtue image widget and I can click on the arrow to bring down the options and you can see I've got my logo and then I've got some text added beneath my logo. And then I also have a blog categories widget underneath the virtue image widget. Now I'm going to open up my front end in a new tab by hovering over my site title and right click or control click if you're using a Mac, click on open link in new tab. And if I go to my front end, I want to point out that the pages that I've assigned to have my primary sidebar widget area show up are going to be my about page. So I can click on that and you can see I have my primary sidebar widget area with the two widgets here. the virtue image and the blog categories widgets and then also my video page is set to show the primary sidebar and then my blog page which is the same thing as my posts page is also set to show the sidebar and then my individual posts I can click on either one of these blog posts and the individual posts are also set to show the primary sidebar widget area now let's go back to the back end and we'll go of course under appearance widgets let's say that I only want my virtue image widget in my primary sidebar to only show up on my about page and not on any other page. Well now that we have the widget visibility feature of the Jetpack plugin activated, you can click on the arrow here next to the widget that I want to control and that's going to bring down the options and we now have this visibility feature that we can click on. So when I click on that, what you can do is specify different rules. So uh, for this example, to only show the virtue image widget on the about page, I'm going to select show here 
And I'm going to say show if, and then I can select here where it says select, if the page, and page is the one we're going to use, and you'll probably use uh, much more than any of these other ones. So we'll select page, show if the page is, and then I can click where it says page, and under my static page section, all of the pages that I've created will be showing up. Now, keep in mind that not all of the pages that I've created are set to show my primary sidebar, and this is something that you would set up with whatever specific theme you're using. Different themes will have different options for that. And again, I would encourage you to watch the full-length video on how I created that exact website if you want to get a better feel for how to specify which pages uh, show your widget areas. But in this case, we're going to say show if the page is, and then we're going to select the about page. And then we're going to click on save. And now if we view the front end of our site, the virtue image widget will only show up on our primary sidebar area on the about page. So if I refresh this page, this individual posts page, this blog post page, notice that we no longer have the image widget. Now if I go back to my about page, of course, it will be showing up there. And just to show you, the video page that once had the, the widget showing up no longer has that showing up as well. Now let's go back to the back end, and let's say that we wanted our uh, virtue image widget to show up only on our about page and our video page. Well, we've already added the rule to show it on the about page. Then we're going to click on add to add another rule, and we'll scroll down, and we'll select show if the page, we'll select page there, and then we'll say is the video page. And this is just the page that we called video. And again, all of the pages that you've created will show up here as options. And we're gonna select video. And then when I click on save, we can go back and view the front end. And now when I re refresh the video page, notice that we have our image widget showing up. And of course, the about page will have it as well. And our blog page will only show the blog categories widget just like that. Now let's say that we wanted our image widget, our virtue image widget, to show up on every uh, page that shows the primary sidebar except for our about page. What we can do is go back to the back end and we'll delete the rules that we've added by clicking on delete and then we'll click on save and then we'll click on visibility again and this time since we want it to show on every page except for the about page we're gonna say hide so it's gonna hide this widget if we'll select page here and then we'll select is the about page. And then we'll click on save and view the front end. And of course we're on our uh, blog page. If I refresh the page, of course we're gonna get that widget there showing up. It's also gonna show up on our video page, but because of the rule, it's not gonna show up on our about page. And you can see that there. All right, let's go back to the back end and do a couple more examples here. Uh, first of all, we'll delete the rule that we just added. We'll click on delete there and click on save. Then I'll click on the arrow to minimize the virtue image widget options. And then I'll click on the arrow to bring down the blog categories widget options. And I'll click on visibility. And this time I want to specify a rule that says I only want the blog categories widget to show up on my blog page, which is the same thing as my posts page. So I'm going to click on show. And then I want to show if, and then select if page is, and then I'll click here, is my posts page. And of course, the posts page, again, refers to the blog page. And this would only, of course, be uh, an, something that you would consider using if you indeed had a blog on your WordPress site. But again, that's something I had discussed in that full-length video. So we'll select posts page there and click on save. And now if we go back and view the front end of our site and click on our blog, which is our posts page. Notice that we do have the blog categories widget, but our about page, which shows the primary sidebar widget area, does not show the categories widget, and neither does the video page. And if we go back to our blog, I wanna point out that if we click on one of our blog posts, the individual blog posts don't show the blog categories widget because we only specified that we wanted the blog categories widget to show up on our posts page, our blog page. Now to specify that we want it to show up on our blog page and our individual posts pages, we can go back to our back end and we can add an additional rule. And of course we're within our blog categories options. We'll click on add here to add another rule. And then we'll say show if, and then select page there, if the page is 
And then under post type, we're going to select post. And this is going to be referring to all of our individual blog posts. So now when we click on save and go back to the front end of our site, we are within an individual blog post. This is an individual blog post. So if I refresh the page now, because of the rule, we now have our blog categories widget showing up there. So it's only going to show our blog categories widget on our blog page and our individual blog posts pages. Now let's go back to the back end and we're going to go ahead and delete those two rules that we just added by clicking on delete and we'll click on save. And then for this last example, I'm actually going to add a text widget to my primary sidebar widget area. So I'll scroll down and click on the text widget and then click on primary sidebar and click on add widget. And then I'll give my text widget a title and I'm just going to call it land blog category widget. Then I'll add some text beneath the title and I'll just copy and paste some text here. Paste that in. Now I only want this text widget to show up on individual blog posts that are within the land blog category that I have. Now to make this happen, I'll scroll down and first I'm going to go ahead and save the text widget. And then I'll click on visibility. And I'm going to select show because I only want this to show if, and then I'll select if category, and this is referring to blog categories, if the blog category is, and then this option will give me all of my available blog categories. And of course, you'll have all the blog categories that you've specified or created on your blog. And in my case, I've only created two blog categories, and I've got one blog post within each of these categories, but I'm going to select the land category. So I only want this text widget to show if the blog category is land, then I'll click on save. And now when I view the front end of my site, uh, notice that we are on the water blog post, which is in the water category. So when I refresh the page, notice that, of course, we're not going to have the text widget that we specified. Now if I go back to my blog, click on blog there, and scroll down, and click to open up the land blog post, the individual blog post, notice that we will have our land blog category widget showing up. And if we did have other blog posts within the land category, they would also display the text widget that we just added. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope that you now have enough information to gain more control over your widgets, and also stay tuned for more videos coming soon.